Okay, Sky, why don't you tell us about what we're doing today? We have some sugar maples here, and they're pretty big. We have 30 to 40 of them, and sugar maples are one of the best kind of maple syrup trees. Um, you're going to need um, as many buckets as you want. We have 13, and we have one hot right there. And you're also going to need these things called spirals. Spiles. Spiles. Drill to the tree three to f um, two to three inches and put it in. And then you hang your bucket on. And it needs to be um, above freezing and um, below overheating for the maple syrup to come. Uh huh. And so during the day it needs to be above freezing and then at night below freezing, right? And, um, and then what happens? What happens when it's above syrup freezing? Will come out into your bucket. Syrup or sap? Sap. Sap, okay. Do you remember how many gallons of sap? These are five gallon buckets. Do you remember how many gallons we're going to need to make one gallon of syrup? Five. <laughs> that would be nice. More like up to 40. 30 to 40. To make one gallon? To make one gallon of the syrup you love so up much. A gallon? A gallon? That's a five gallon bucket. So five gallons fit inside that bucket. Okay, so Sky and I are reporting on our um, first year trying to get some maple syrup out of our trees. We have about 30 or 40 uh, sugar maples on our nine acres. And here's the first one we just tried. And what we did is we took a 7 16 inch drill and we drilled at an angle kind of like that into the tree. Okay, the next thing they're going to do is put in the actual spile. And then they're going to hammer that in. Aiden's going to be responsible for that. And the hook, of course, has to face outwards. Um, and then we'll hang the bucket on that. I just need to drill a little hole in the bucket. So now Sky is cleaning out the second hole in this big, big maple tree. It's probably, well, certainly two, maybe even three feet in diameter. So we're actually going to put two taps in it. And um, he's just drilled in with a 7 16 bit. Um, and uh, we'll put the spiles in next. So um, the boys and I have just finished putting out about half of our 12 or 13 five gallon plastic buckets and it's definitely not above freezing yet although it's supposed to get up to 34 today so we don't see any sap flowing which of course makes me nervous since I've never done this before so here's one of our first sap runs and the drops you can see how quickly they're coming it's about 38 39 degrees today and there's also a bit of sun and it's uh, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. Well, here you can see the vigorous boiling of our evaporator, which is wood-fired and um, doing really well. I'm totally psyched about it. It works way better than trying to put these pans or big pot on the grill, uh, which is propane-fired. And of course, we can use wood for my land. And we're boiling down um, just five gallons of sap that we got, um, which is very little. Uh, but at least it'll give us a chance to test out the system and see how it's working. And I'll just take a step back so you can sort of see uh, what the whole thing looks like. That front thing is a uh, slightly shallower and definitely less wide steam pan. It's six inches wide and um, six inches deep by 20 inches. And the other ones are eight inches deep. There's two of them. And they're 12 inches wide by 20. And I know it's hard to see. But there's our little stack to create a draft. And the whole thing was quite inexpensive. Um, and it seems to be doing just a great job. Well, now I've reduced everything to this one big steam pan. And you can see the fire's still going strong. Um, and I haven't put any more wood in after that first wood. And then here's what's in the pan. It's actually really cool to be able to see it like that. Um, and this gives you a good sense for how it boils down. So now we are at the last and most delicate part of the whole process where you wait for the maple syrup, the sap, to boil down to 3.9 degrees Celsius above the temperature that water boils at at that particular altitude and on that particular day because it varies with barometric pressure and it has to be very precise. So I'm going to actually stop um, filming now because it's getting too um, close to the boiling point. And finally here is the result of all that effort, our practice run, actually in a honey jar. What is the napkin? That strains out um, any, um, I, I forget what they call it, I think they call it like maple sand or something. Like little, little, little pieces of solid stuff that we don't want to have. 
and then make it a syrup. And I got oh, I this. see these black dots. Careful, don't touch. It's very, that's it. It gets that out of it. And here comes Aiden. Okay. Who can explain to me what's happening? Syrup. No, no, yeah. come on, really, try. You you know from the very beginning. Let's hear. Hayden, can you explain from the beginning what we're doing? Um, what we're doing is we, um, my dad wanted, thought that the maple syrup at the store was too much money. So he wanted to, to make our own maple syrup. So we, um, first we sawed some holes in the trees, maple trees. Then we put a little tube in there. Then we put a hanger on Aiden, why don't you look tube. at me when you're talking, right? And then we put a empty one of those buckets. Right. With the camera. Oh, oh, the camera at the buckets. Okay. And we hung and the five gallon bucket. Then when it was hot enough for the maple syrup to flow, the, it started flowing, um, dripping maple syrup into the buckets. Mm -hmm. And then we, about a week later, have to come get the buckets and then put, boil them in this Here, why don't you show me that? Can you that lift up made. one of the things, Aiden? That's our uh, concrete block maple syrup evaporator. Aiden's going to show us what's inside. I don't think it's come to a rolling boil yet. No, but it's getting there. We just started about um, half an hour ago. Do you remember how many gallons of the maple sap we need to get to the maple syrup? One gallon. One gallon of maple sap makes how many gallons of maple syrup? Zero. 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 Um, you need um, eight gallons to make one. How about 40? 40, 40 right. gallons. Yep. 40. And how many do you think we got? How many do you think we've gathered today? How many gallons of sap? Um, probably about 20 to 15. I'd say, I'd one. say close to 40. I'd say close to 40. Okay, so there we have it. Well, we're boiling off the last of this year's sap, and uh, the trees are still dripping a little bit, but honestly, we've put enough time into that for the year, and we got, or we will get, by the time this is done, I think five to six gallons of actual syrup, and we had a great adventure doing it. It's not too time-consuming in that you can look down from inside the house. For example, I'm working in my office and just uh, see how things are going. Um, and then reload the wood upon occasion every 45 minutes or hour. But still, you know, it kind of occupies some of your attention. And so I'll be happy now that we're done with it. So here we have the results of our first year of making maple syrup. At least five and up to six gallons, depending upon exactly how full the different jars are. And the season has now ended for us. It's April 7th.